Warcry is good on GABA. Warcry is way better in Dragon Quest Seven than it is in this game. Fucking, I just keep running into you guys. Do you have the same shit? I need to know if it's on a per, like... I should have taken the one with the medley. This guy seems to have the same monsters, but it could be, like, the floors, or it could be the gate. Like, I don't know which one it is. Almost there. I've had like my fucking fill of of randomly generated dungeons for a lifetime. Warping is always nice. Love water, but I can't carry anymore. One metable. Damn it, that was a good place to save. One metable should uh I like how I can successfully run away from those guys all the time now. Yes, I was faster than it. I punched the fuck out of it. I got by attack. That's really good. Massacre is useless. Joker didn't either, actually. I literally outspeed this fucking this metal metable. Quad hits. That'll help for killing these things. Meditate is not useful, even though like it's actually really good. It's nowhere near as good as fucking heal all. Alright, I think I'm good. Dude, my heart has been broken by Square Enix long ago. My heart was broken by Square Enix when they didn't localize the fucking port of Dragon Quest VIII. Or Dragon Quest Seven, Like the PS2 port. That one had a PS2 game. Literally, fuck, dude. Dragon Quest is not popular in the US. The first Dragon Quest that was even remotely popular in the US was eight, followed by nine, And 9, like, I don't know. Wow, I got a lot of experience just now. Whatever, this is good enough. These guys are fine. Um, so... It's my Baramos. I'm supposed to breed with the Darkhorn. And that gets me a new monster. I don't want to do that yet. Wait, yeah, I do. Baramos and Darkhorn. Mudo. There we go. What's next? This Robuster. And this. Not the Funky Bird. The King Leo. Iceman. Yes, I bred an Iceman! Finally! How stupid. Iceman's like an easy monster to catch, but it's like an impossible monster to breed. It's gotta be a female Iceman, right? It's gotta be a girl man. It's a boy. Let's bless it. Or maybe I had a female lava man. I don't remember. I'll have to check. It's a boy Mudo. Oh my god. I hit, I went over fucking 900 MP. He's going to cap MP, dude. No, it's not Barmos or King Leo. King Leo is purely to get a nice man. Um, so, what's my lava man? Is female. So I actually need a male ice man, so fuck. She just sings to it and the gender changes. If only it was that easy in real life. Let's double check. This is a female lava man. This is a male ice man. What about the Mudo? What do I breed that with? Oh, my Deathmore too. So I'm not going to hatch that forever. I can hatch it now. It's probably pretty good. 
I've got a lot of bosses right now. I need to combine a bunch of them. What's my armor peon breed with? Deathmore 1. I don't have to worry about that for a little while because I don't even have a Zoma. I do have the mirror dress though. The whip bird, dude. Why do I even have a whip bird? This is where I bred my funky bird, my old one. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I have a new one. Dance Veggie, do I have a plant? I don't have a plant, dude. Do not have a plant. Oh, fucking Slib hit max level. I'm retarded. I let Slib hit max level and fucking I didn't level him up to it, so he has no skills. Well, there it goes. Slib is capped. I have made Slib into the fucking ultimate monster. So what's next on my list right now? Make Mirror Dress strong. What's next after that? Breed the Spot King. Yeah, I've still got a bunch of breeding to do. This Iceman actually has really, really good stats. But I guess it makes sense because he has a fucking King Leon and Robuster's fucking parents. He's a coward. Oh yeah, let's evaluate my bosses right now. I have a Dragon Lord. Oh, let me let me get this right. A Dragon Lord two. A Sido. A mirror dress too. And a Mudo. So I should I've got four bosses. And an ideal team would have three. Which means I should breed two of them. But which two? Well, I can't breed the Mudo. Hold on. I need to combine... Fuck. Is it time? Dragon Lord 2 and Saito? Oh my god, it's time for Dragon Lord 2 and Saito. This is going to bring tears to my eyes because I have to breed the fucking Saito again. Every time this Saito transforms, I'm so proud. Yep, it's time. It's time. I'm going to have a wimpy team. Everyone's going to be super low level. It's time! Dragonlord 2 and Saito. Is this right? Seems like a new monster. Inside is a baby Zoma. Well, Zoma. Zoma will eventually breed with Mirror Dress. What gender is my Mirror Dress? I think it's male. I think I've got a male Mirror... Whoa, dude. Zoma looks cool. Hold on. Mirror dress is male. So I need a female Zoma, which is what this is. Wait, hold on. 
Oh, that is my address. All right, here's Zoma. I'll just call it Zoma. It's his name. This is it, dude. This is the new Jamerus. It looks pretty cool. I only hope it's as good. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 250 HP, 360 fucking MP at level one, and like three stats over 200. That int is kind of worrying, though. This might be a physically based monster, but that's okay, because um, it has quad hits and shit. So, it can be a physically based monster and still good. Plus 15. Jesus fucking Christ. Mirror Dress is plus 10. She's got some pretty good skills, though. It needs uh, the ice spell, but whatever. It'll get it at some point. Alright, this team. Nice man, sort of an honorary member, but whatever. I'm going to do my best to just go straight into the gate of control and see what happens. Literally, wait, time out. My mirror dress literally has worse stats than my Zoma, and my Zoma was just born. They're not like worse, but they're like barely as good. They're like about the same. It's got better defense. And much better int. But still. Like that's literally an infant. Oh my god, I want that medley. Something just nuked the medley, I have no idea what. Those stats aren't that good. Oh it's the Iceman. I was afraid for a second. It's like shit, that's not even that's not even good gains. I got all scared. Zoma got 15 MP, 8's in all stats, got heal, fire air, frigid air. He just got 20 MP in one level up, and he's getting 9's in all stats, and he got sap. Ugh, dude. Not bad. Before I get to the bottom of this, he's gonna have, um, he's gonna have something retarded. I want that sirloin. These spells are not that powerful. I'll find a... I'll find a healing guy before I get to the bottom. Anything more experience for Zoma? That's what you're supposed to do when you really want the serious heal the serious training. So you uh, kill two of your monsters, and you have your last one fucking killing medallies. I'm literally fasted in medallies. All of my skills are weakest piss skills right now, but they're like lower level versions of really, really good skills. Is that Iceman already level 10? He is. I don't even need to level him up past that. To be honest. be honest, I hate Iceman. I hate that Iceman for being fucking uncatchable. For some strange reason. It's fucking waste my time. Wake Sand. Not a world do. Not, uh... I don't know. Remember the Time Sand from Dragon Quest Seven? Remember Litterud, that fucking troll town where shit just kept happening over and over? Fuck. Does anyone have good healing spells? No. They need to be, like, level gets to be such an annoying problem.
didn't want to fight one of these things. Well, I gotta heal more. What's the real chest? That place was cool. In general, Dragon Quest Seven was cool. It was really the last one I tried, and it's a sirloin, which is something I want. So I'm glad I checked them all. But I have a pork chop I'm fucking hauling around. If these two and their combined forces could start killing a couple metables, that would be so cool. Rib, it's not that, it's only 300 gold. It's not too useful. Wow, I found it. I found a place like this. Fuck, I want to leave the Iceman dead. I'm sure I can just have him die against metal, metal, metables, because they're tough. I'm sure he'll naturally die to them. Box slimes are hella stupid looking. Iceman getting skills that I don't care about. This is it. This is where I can find uh, metables. There's one right now. Wait, what the, just, what the fuck just happened? Zoma's Zoma's got the immune to magic. Oh god, dude, Zoma's broke as fuck. Zoma's immune to magic. <laughs> Zoma's gonna be the best monster ever. Oh fuck. Do I have to use an item? Nope. I won. I got Vivify? Sick. Vivify is pretty cool. I don't need Clean Cut. I don't need Blade D. I definitely don't need Berserker. Fucking of course he would be immune to magic. Why did I let mirror mirror dress get that unhealthy? What the fuck just happened? Did I get a crit? I did like three hundred damage to it. That shouldn't be something that's possible. Wait, yeah, that's, that's one of my skills. What skill is that? Attack so-and-so in a rage. The fuck skill is that? Who did it? Zoma attacks. It's a Zoma skill. Rock throw is pretty good. I don't think it's better than Blade D. It's definitely better than Blaze More. Oh, it's Boom Ice Air and Blaze Air that gets Big Bang. So this thing's gonna get Big Bang. The fact that you can go into your skill list and, like, use skills made me think that this game would have, like, Surf or something similar. You know what I mean? Like a Pokemon, like HMs, but it never actually does. I'm actually sort of glad it doesn't.
Alright, I can kill both of these things. I just need to figure out what the fuck command that was. That's Massacre! I'm getting lucky with my Massacres. Of course, Massacre fucking... Massacre ignores defense, doesn't it? I, lit I literally lost. I detect mirror dress. God, I'm fucking myself up real bad. That's fine. I attacked myself in a rage. There's one down. There, dude. I got two kills. What the fuck skill is that? Suck air? Suck in air power to inflict damage on the next turn? That sounds like shit. Kamikaze. Suicide attacks knock out the enemy. Doesn't sound good. I only got two level ups from that. I forgot Massacre was like really good. I mean, it's not really good, but like, I think when the AI picks Massacre, it doesn't, it only picks it when it works. So I think Massacre is really good for the AI. I don't remember that, though. One down. No, I think I just end heroed. I think I need to unlearn Massacre, because it does work on, it does work on, I will select it on myself. And I seem very willing to select it, so I should definitely not have that anymore. The skill ups are not that good. Zoma, come on. Your stats are great, though. Can't complain. Same level. It's got dramatically higher everything. Even int now. Mirror Dress needs to fucking level up. So this is Mirror Dress. Oh, th yeah, that's the breed with Zoma. So these two are going to breed. No homo. Got D-Magic and Tatsu Call. That's not that useful. Uh, Blade D, Rock Throw, or Tatsu Call. Tatsu Call is actually really good, so I'm going to keep that one. Rock Throw eventually becomes something nice, but I'm not going to keep it. D Magic on him, too. T Snowstorm, useless. Ice Storm, Scorching, useless. It's Boom that I want. I don't have it. Bi Attack leads to quad hits, and quad hits is better than Massacre for killing, um,. Whatever. I'm gonna get rid of fucking D Magic. I know he's got crazy ass fucking skills in his uh in his genes. This poor ice this poor Iceman corpse I'm just hauling around. I can't believe all the time I play this game I still haven't set up a save state, load state on Joytiki. I'm terrified I'm going to fuck it up. Accidental, like, load state when I meant to save or something like that. I want some fucking Thordain, dude. 
I can't stress enough how cool it is. I just fucking end hero with massacre. I can't stress enough how cool it is. Surge. That's nice. I want to keep that. Do I ditch snowstorm? Yeah. Snowstorm's not helpful. I got quad hits, which means I can now ditch Massacre, since I have normal ass skills that can fuck up these things just as well. Blew up myself in a rage like a fucking retard. I do some quality training of this Zoma. God, his defense is through the roof. That means do no damage to him. His skill ups, his stat ups aren't being that good though. B Dragon is really nice. And now I'm having to start to make some decisions. Massacre, it's time to go. As good as you are. B Dragon is nice. I think? I'm actually not sure B Dragon is nice. I don't remember. Got Thorday and White Fire and White Air. So now I'm fucking a very threatening monster. I remember White Fire having an animation I absolutely loved, but I haven't, like, seriously watched it. Like, yeah, that's high. No, holy fuck, that's really high. By level 60, he's going to have, like, double all these stats. Maybe not double, but, like, 600, 700. Yeah, that's terrifying. He's going to be fine. Just because he's not getting nines all the fucking time. Alright, Iceman. Reap the Lava Man. Pretty sure Ice Man has to be first. Gold Golem. And now it has to be an opposite gender from... Fuck, I didn't even look. What's my... Mm... Why do I still have that Misty Wing? There's my Spot King. It's male. The Gold Golem needs to be female. And it already is. I should just save state and hatch them to save myself some time. GG. Like what I'm gonna say when I fucking kick ass with it. It's got pretty good stats for level 1. It's rebellious. I'm almost at a point where I'm just going to start killing, I'm going to start clearing out the gates. All I have to do still is get this gold slime. And then I'm going to start training, and then I'm going to start clearing gates. This 
this thing's getting really good stats. I don't remember if the bosses actually have the highest gains. It's a thing. It's not the same thing. Holy fuck, I just learned a lot of skills. Ramming, ramming sucks. Squall hit is not good either, actually. Blaze is especially bad, but... Fuck, like it matters. Are you above level 10? Yeah, I'm done here. This is not the place where I breed monsters. So first it's the King Slime. Spot King. Then it's the Gold Golem. There you go, Gold Slime. I will hatch it, I guess. That's the weird guy, I forgot about him. I haven't been in a lot of these rooms in a long time. Tiny metal. That's how you're supposed to get a lot of the tiny metals. And I actually didn't get them, like, when you're supposed to get a lot of them. I'm on that traveler skate, dude. I don't remember who Santi is. Talk to my grandpa. I let you use the traveler gate, but I want to see a gold slime just once. I've never gotten a gold slime, so I've never actually... I mean, now I've read two gold slimes just in this file. But before, I'd never gotten a gold slime, so I'd never actually opened that gate. I already went into that gate and killed the Orochi. Um, where my monster count at yet? 108. Wow, not bad. I should finish that gate because I think I haven't finished it yet. I'm not gonna do any of the gates that give you monsters yet because I want those monsters, and um. I don't have enough room. I don't know if I have enough room. I don't know, man. I wonder if I should just use the gold slime. I wish I just had a shit ton of experience. I should just tack. I should make it so I just get fucking 60,000 experience every battle. It would be so easy. I just want to play without the game being tedious. But I don't want to... Like, I've been... Uh, up till now, I've done everything completely fairly. But, like, I've... Well, I mean, I've, I've been abusing save states like a motherfucker. That's not really fair. But, um... I don't know. Do I even need that codal? Let's catch a plant. Breed an herb man. Just cuz. When you catch a plant. And there are like plants in plants in here. I don't remember. It's a coil bird. Coil bird is not a plant. No plants? I don't think that's right. Where's a place where I can find like a floor man? That's a plant. It's a bean man. Oh yeah, I caught a bean man in this file and I like fucking had it for a long ass time. Remember that? I was just like, wow, it's a bean man. I'm pretty sure there's flora men in here. I don't remember though. I should just look up where you find flora men. I got a message. Who from? Chad. So did you get any more sleep today? I saw you log off for a while. Yeah. It was good. PK face. E e whoop whoop. All right, hold on.
Where do I find Flora Men? Demolition. That's not what I want. What I want is the Gate of Bravery. Yep. Strength and Anger. That's not what I want. So it was this this one. I remembered it almost right. I missed your stream last night. You should stream tonight. Stream yesterday afternoon. Where the floor man at? There's one. Whichever ones of these I get, I really should have just used a rib. Oh, gender. Gender, gender, gender. What's the dance veggie I caught? I don't remember. Let's just go look at it. Dance veggie. I keep on calling it dance veggie. It's female. So let's plant with Dance Veggie to get an herb man. What? Please tell me you're a plant guy. He's plant family. What? It's supposed to be plant plus plant plus Dance Veggie to get an herb man. I'll catch a bean man see if that works. Maybe fucking Flora Man is just like a unique one. Uniquely doesn't work. All right, Bean Man. I need a female Bean Man. Well, fuck! I should really, I really should just check here first. I stream all the time, dude. Bean Man, female needs to be a Bean Man, male. I mean, I don't stream all the time, but when I'm home, like any time I'm not hanging out with you guys, I'm usually fucking. I usually stream that day. Bean Man, female. I want a male. Man, this breeding system sucks dick. I mean, the catching system. The breeding system's great. The catching system is just awful. I like the scouting system from Dragon Quest Monsters Joker a lot more. God, I can only catch a girl one. I want a male one. I used to actually get into different battles until I found out that the RNG determined fucking what gender it was. When you fight a Pokemon, all its stats are determined as you're fighting it. Bean man male. Here we go. Um... But when you when you play this game, it doesn't do that. Pretty sure Bean Man is a plant. It's fucking called Bean Man. It's a giant fucking bean. Dance Veggie and Bean Man. It's not old. <laughs> it's only level eight. It's a fucking child. Do I still have a? Fuck, dude. It's all my seven herbs. My love water. Whatever. Buy a warp wing. Alright, Bean Man. Alright, Bean Man. God, can I please get a battle without fucking killing my Bean Man? Alright. Kill. That didn't even give me any experience. How much till the Bean Man levels up? 42. Alright, so it'll be like 6 battles to get him fucking level 10. Not too bad. Thought it'd be a lot worse. There you go. Bean Man sucks, dude. Those stat gains are terrible. Um, Dance Veggie. Bean Man. Dance Veggie. I thought this was how this, this worked. Bean Man. Fuck. What the fuck? Explain this. Alright, go back to before I caught the Bean Man. Herb man is plant plus funky bird. Oh. Dance veggie plus dance veggie plus plant or plant plus funky bird. Dance veggie plus plant wasn't working. Plant plus funky bird is actually really easy though because I actually caught.
Only two mo monsters naturally get Mega Magic. Rainhawk and Slime. Is it really Rainhawk and Slime? I thought fucking... What's it called? Rosevine and Slime. I'm pretty sure Rosevine gets fucking Mega Magic. Anyway. Oh, you are streaming. Everyone fucking suddenly comes in at fucking 2 a.m. Just because they didn't find out that I was streaming till now. I'm actually really thirsty. I'm tempted to go downstairs and get something. This bean man is still useful. I need to breed it with a funky bird. I think my funky bird is male, so a female one is fine. And it's still level 8. Fuck. Let me go observe my funky bird. Make sure it's a male one. Funky bird is in fact male, so this female bean man is fine. Female bean man just doesn't seem right, man. Alright, I'm actually saving this time because fucking I knew I got the right thing. World do is more useful than it would be to sell. I don't know anything about the game, so don't tell me anything about the game. Alright. This bean man needs to be level 10 stat. And then I can get an herb man, and then I can stop worrying for a little while and just train my monsters. So let's find a medley. And then we'll be done. Just one medley. There you go. Oh, I grew four levels. Didn't even learn a skill because it's a shitty ass bean man. Um, so plant plus funky bird. You're a plant. That's a funky bird. Herb man. Alright. Let's find out what an herb man is, because this is an uncatchable monster. Despite not being a good monster, it is uncatchable. God, it's fucking awful. It looks disgusting. I, like, regret breeding that. Should I hatch the gold slime? Or the mudo? I should definitely hatch the mudo. Mudo is actually murdaw. It's the... The presumed boss from um, Dragon Quest VI until it's revealed to be Deathmore. Uh, this thing needs to be male, right? Mudo. Don't remember, actually. Mudo breeds with Deathmore too, so it gender doesn't matter at all. Mudo plus 12. I'm going to call him Muddy. I'm going to call him Moody. Good name. So this is actually my final team for a while. Whoa, fucking Mirror Dress too, and Mudo look quite similar. Quite similar. They look damn near identical. They got the same horns, like the fucking same fat body. I don't know, man. The wings and the cape look really similar. The tail placement's going off the same side. The structure is just too similar. They're making the same face, too. Um, so level 1 stats. Everything's over 100. Nothing's over 200. It's okay. Came from a Varmos and a Dark Horn. They're both hella high. You think it'd be really good, but we'll see. Alright, time to level them. Because this is going to be my... This is going to be my final team for bossing. For like a long time. And then eventually I'm going to breed these two. I'm eventually going to breed them all together into a dark dream. But that's going to take forever. Now we got to do some digging. Whoa. Not bad I killed all of them. I like how I'm faster than... Whoa, the spells... I've already gotten all the magic I can have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fireball, fire air, and bang is big bang. And, or I mean frigid, fire air, frigid air, and bang. So I need those three. Blaze, inferno, fireball, 
bang, and ice bolt is mega magic. So I need to keep the first four, the first six. So sap and sleep need to go. Bolt. I really want to keep bolt. I'm gonna have to make some difficult decisions. I can already tell. If he, st if he learns like buy attack right now, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna be fucked. Did I really just kill three slimes? Why would I bother? A rib, nice. Rob magic. I'll pass on that one for the time being. Um. Okay. I hate these maps, dude. We got to higher level monsters. Fucking that map. A snow staff. Useless. Seven thirty gold. I have a lot. I have a lot of gold. Seventeen thousand gold. Fuck. Stepped on a bunch of poison for no reason. Rib, nice. How do I get in the center? Okay. I'm considered a low level compared to the enemies, and thus it's not letting me run, despite the fact that I'm dramatically stronger than them with all my monsters. I hate, like, the way that the breeding system works is great, but, like, so many factors are decided by level. That's kind of irritating. Like having a low level is nice because you can like your potential to level up is super high. World do nice. That's what I was hoping it was. Or an elf water would have been fine. Oh, it's a fucking priest. If you have an ice man, I will literally flip 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 a bitch. Iron turret's good. Th rot ravens are not. There's a not. There's a not quite codal. It's the wing snake. He's a face tree. There's a Mimic. Mimics are really rare and good. I want to play a Mystery Dungeon game. Do it. Yeah, I really like the Cube Slime too, actually. I don't I don't know. I missed that when you first said it. The Cube Slime is really cute, in my opinion. I don't remember what Blizzardy and... Blizzardy and Phoenix give you. I think they give you a... A Zap Bird. I don't remember if I've actually had a zap bird, but I've run into a lot of them. This guy doesn't have great monsters, I'm just going to kill him. Stop spell and poison gas, I'm going to have to ditch both of those. As I promised, restore power. The cubic slime dude in its little face. Fucking this map is going to be so gay. I like the fucking, that little guy, the slabbit, the little rabbit slime. Slabbit's a cute name anyway. Look at it, dude. Look at it fucking with his little rabbit legs. Slimes in general are like the cutest enemies, and thus the slime dungeon is fucking a fun dungeon to go through. What floor are we on? 18. Almost there. The box slime, though, I'm like starting to appreciate it now because like I'm seeing it with new eyes again. Like, why is it looking at you like that? It's like got like a card crusher face. It's like tilting its head down. Or up, I mean. There we go, starting to learn some skills. What's this magic? Is it fucking retardedly high? Uh, it's actually almost as low as stat. His MP to total is really good, though. Oh, it's a fucking a regular guy. I should make sure I've got some inventory space before I talk to this motherfucker. I could do with a little bit more. All my monsters have minimum wildness, so eating a rib won't do anything. Let's use the herb. Why not? Uh, the snow staff I have no attachment to. Love water is bad. It's a useless item. Uh, warp staff is kind of neat, but whatever that'll do. I've got some inventory space now. So, this guy looks like he's pulling from the same monster totals. Come here, you faggot. Just touch me. There you go. Once they touch you, they fucking just sit there. 
So he's got the same monsters, yeah. Which means I don't. There's nothing here I care about. We're playing a Sage Stone. Sage Stone's really cool. It's um. It restores like 80 health on every character every time you use it. Oh, these are these are the king slimes. I just realized. Fucking, I'm where I want to be. Beverly Hills. That's where I wanna be. I like that song. So, time to find the metal ear, too. Oh, fucking, what do you know? I knocked one out. Knock both out. Should I buy Gates to Infinity? Uh, if you like that series, then yes. You're welcome. Psych up. Inflicts great unnecessary capitalization damage to an enemy at the last turn. I still don't know what that does. So I'm not going to learn it. I should save state before I random battle. And that way I... I should definitely... I'm opening droid key. I'm tired of not having, like, fucking save states. Where do I keep this shit? J2K. We're... Visual Boy Advance. Button 9 is Shift F1. Button 10 is F1. I do not know what button 9 and button 10 are. Control panel. There's something better. There's, like, devices. There we go. Devices and printers. I'm still retarded about Windows 7. Uh, wait, no. Game controller settings. Properties. Button 4 for saving and button 3 for loading would be nice. For saving would be shift F1. And three for loading would be F1. All right. Let's try this out. Load state. There we go. There we go. Save state. Load state, because something died. Oh, that's so much easier. So I just learned Warcry, but I can't have that. Oh god, I got killed by fucking enemy attacks first. Oh my goodness, I don't have to reach up every fucking time. Who knows fucking Thordane? Oh my god, I just saved stated and I didn't even realize fucking I had a monster die. Someone had fucking Hellblast? Oh god, dude, decisions. Decisions about Hellblast. Oh god. Oh god, Hellblast. I guess B Dragon isn't that good. I don't know. B Dragon is really good. I guess defense isn't that good. Let's get rid of defense. Um someone knows Vivify. Who is it? You. Bring Moody back to life. I forgot about that. It's chance based. Revive always works, but Vivify has a 50% chance of failing. Man, why do they do shit like that? And also only brings you back to half your health. Everyone's dying. Those two. There's a spell, yes, there's a spell to turn into a dragon called Be Dragon. You don't understand how old this game is. This game is before RPG conventions. Actually, it's after RPG conventions, but like it, it's copying from itself, and its earlier forms created RPG conventions. It's still better than... Um, well, Zap is a good spell. It's still better than... Um, 
than some games. What's the game I'm thinking of? What's the game I'm thinking of? Um. Fuck. 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 Breath of Fire. Still better than Breath of Fire. I think I did a stream one time when I played Breath of Fire. That's a really interesting game. Alright, Vivify turn into Revive. No more of the fucking bullshit. It's no running. I'm the player character, motherfucker. What I say goes. Big Bang, there we go. Creates a huge explosion to attack all enemies. This is literally, like, the best spell. So I have Hellblast and fucking Big Bang. I'm literally, I'm running out of fucking slots, dude. I'm running out of slots. Quad hits is OP. It's attack four times in one turn. It's literally just way better than attacking. Heal all is useful. White fire, white air, give me Big Bang. So I could ditch one of them. Right? No, Big Bang is inherited. I don't need white fire and white air. If one is worse, I'm going to get rid of it. Hellblast is lightning. Big Bang is non-elemental. So... Oh shit, Thordane. Do I need Thordane? Because Hellblast is like... Hellblast outclasses Thordane, doesn't it? Thordane might be my useless spell. That feels weird, though. It feels weird to get rid of Thordane. Thordane's like... El In Dragon Quest, Electric is like the super element. Like, like, like the spot that Holy takes in other video games is like the electric in the Dragon Quest series. Like, Electric is, like, super overpowered. No enemies in the game resist Electric. And it's super effective to a lot of them. And Electric spells are, like, super, super high-class spells that you can never, ever get. Let me check real fast at this fucking thing. So, here's my combo skills. Where are they? Here we are. Um, in order to get Big Bang, you need Explode, White Fire, and White Air. And I don't even have Explode. So White Fire and White Air together are useless. So I might as well only have White Air, since that's the slightly harder one to get. They have nearly the same function. I should have save stated after I got to that encounter. I didn't. If only I could dedicate my myself the same way to a, an essay as I can to a stupid video game about killing tiny metal slimes. Oh fuck, I let someone die. Oh fuck, I let them die again. Moody, can you please just not be a shit? There we go. I killed it. These stat-ups are not even that good, to be honest. This thing is this thing's spell list is like the ultimate like like int based monster spell list. You got the single attack fire spell, the single the all attack wind spell, the all attack fire spell, both air spells, the mega all fire spell, the ice spell, and fucking zap. I got zap, dude. Fuck, I didn't mean to save state there. There we go. I'm gonna be doing accidental save states all the fucking time now. Accidental save states can be very, very bad to do. Fucking my shit monster. Whatever, I killed one of them. Bye attack. Fuck. I do not want to ditch by attack. Fuck, am I really gonna get rid of Zap? In short, yes. Fuck. Fuck. Bi attack is really good. Bi attack is one of the best skills in the game. I want to get rid of Blazemore because that's a useless one, but I want Mega Magic, and you need five different spells to put together Mega Magic, which I actually happen to have all of, which is Blazemore, Infermore, Firebane, Snowstorm, and Boom. So Ice Air, Blaze Air, and Boom also put together Big Bang. So Zap is the useless one. That hurt, though. 
That really hurt to fucking throw away Zap. I don't want fucking surprise attacks. Yes, the by attack and the quad hits. Killed it in one turn. By attack is a low level quad hits. Zap is just a uh, electric element and turns into a high level electric element skill. And also it's in it's the it's the strongest basic magic attack in the game. <gasps> Mega magic. Oh fucking dude, it's getting so hard. What do I get rid of for Mega Magic? It looks like Bee Dragon. Or White Air. This is literally the list of the best spells. If this was Helosol, that would be the best healing spell. And then Thordane is the ultimate electric spell. Well, it's not. It's the ultimate electric basic spell. Quad Hits is the best attack. Physical attack. Surge is super good ally healing. Cures all elements from the whole team. Um, v Dragon is super OP. Hellblast is the strongest com or it's actually the weakest combination spell, but it's fucking lightning. Big Bang is the strongest. Mega Magic. All right, this is how Mega Magic works. Okay, for ev it'll use all your MP to cast, and for every single MP that it costs to cast it, um, you get you get um three damage. So, this attack will literally do, like, 2,000 damage in one hit on every enemy. And 2,000 is a retarded amount of damage in this game. Most monsters have, like, what you see on my side, like, fucking 500 HP at the very, very, very upper echelons. The only things that are immune are bosses, which, of course, have fucking break the damage limit by quite a lot. But that's because you fight them one on three. I think I'm going to get rid of B-Dragon, because B-Dragon's a stupid spell. Boom, became Explode A. Scorching, Ice Storm, Tatsu Call. Fuck. It's making it harder and harder. I don't have room for Tatsu Call. Whatever, something else has a call move, I think. Don't it? Yeah, I've got Diago Call on fucking Mirror, mirror Dress. Which will turn into the ultimate call skill once I get to level um, 36, I think. Ran away first turn. Summons a Horrific Thunder. The skill names are... I mean, the skill descriptions as you use them are fucking so badass. Beth, yeah. Why so backlog? What do you mean? Whoa, what the fuck just happened? I just cast a fucking big spell. Was that Mega Magic? I don't... A huge burst of magical energy. Yeah, that was Mega Magic. He cast it because he had very low magic, and it would fuck him up. I don't want that to happen. I'm going to use a World Dew. No, I'm going to use the Sage Stone. God, please. Alright, I've been convinced. I've been convinced to use a world do. So I stream Golden Sun. I never made an agreement to stream Golden Sun, I guarantee it, because I hate that game. I don't even hate it. Like, that's completely untrue. I actually like that game quite a lot. It's just like, I don't know, it's like my least favorite RPG of RPGs I like. There are so many RPGs that are good, and it's okay. It's like a good game. There's nothing wrong with it. Just fucking, it's just a very, like, it's just an RPG. Like, the only thing that separates it from any other RPG are the fucking Jin. And, I guess, the fucking dynamic class system. I'll take that, because I should have healed. Liked it more than FF7. You're literally a plebeian, and thus I don't care. You probably disliked FF7 for a bunch of really shallow reasons, namely that grinding didn't do anything and fucking the graphics sucked.
FF7, like, fucking FF7 is... FF7 is legit, like, the best RPG. And anyone who fucking says no doesn't understand why it's the best RPG. And that's my real opinion. I'm not even joking. That's the actual opinion that I hold. And anyone who says fucking FF9 is better than FF7 is a fucking plebeian, too. FF6 is good. I'm not gonna shit on FF6. Terra is a cutie. FF7 is not my favorite RPG, it's just the best one. It is objectively the best. Zoma keeps on casting low ass level mega magics. Like he's fucking he's got eight MP. So like he casts Mega Magic for twenty four damage, but like it hits through um Medley's immunity magic. So fucking it kills them. It's actually a hella good strat. The AI in this game is genius. I can't like FF7. What the fuck does that mean? I could play FF7 right now, I have it. I do like it. Everyone on my team casting quad hits on that little fucker. Snowstorm became Blizzard. That's a good level up. Giga Slash. That's a good skill. I should get rid of Blade D, I guess. Giga Slash is the ultimate physical attack. Quad Hits is actually better because fucking Quad Hits is based on your stats. Like, Quad Hits... Giga Slash is a powerful as fuck attack, but it's fixed damage. And Quad Hits is just based on how strong you are. So if, if you're strong enough, you can outpower Giga Slash. I just saw a Giga Slash. Firebane became Firebolt. Use your bolt of lightning. I'm getting hell level ups. It helps tremendously that fucking a retarded number of my mods. I shouldn't say retarded, that's completely wrong. I got Infermost. What am I looking? Hold on. Blaze Most, Infermost, Firebolt, Explode A, and I think Blizzard. Hold on, let's look it up. Where's Mega Magic? Blaze Most, Blizzard, Explode A, Firebolt, Infermost. So once Blaze More becomes Blaze Most, once uh, Boom becomes Explode A, and once I think I hit. Uh, level 39, which I'm probably not too far away from. Actually, I'm hella far away from. So I have to keep all those spells for a long ass time in order to get, um... Wait, is it Mega Magic 39? Mega Magic is level 38. I already have the stats to use it, but, like, it's... I don't have the level to use it. I... I'm very tempted to just put in Wild Arms right now, because I literally have it. I could just open it. It would be, like, fucking a second, and we could all just enjoy the fucking Wild Arms, which is legit, like, legit a RPG I like a lot. Bazookal. That's the best one, isn't it? I think. I got Bazookal. Bazook has some really fucking cool spells. Unfortunately, he does not cast, um... Um the most retarded ones. He doesn't cast twin hits, which would be really nice. And one of the lower level ones cast twin hits. Just sit on the title screen, listen to the music. It really No, dude, it's not it's not I would rather watch this. What the fuck? You'd rather watch this in Wild Arms. That's fine. I like this. I like this game. Wild Arms is a really good game though. You'd be surprised. Mirror by chance recalls Big Bang from his memory. There we go. Big Bang. So Big Bang comes from the three heirs, right? So I can ditch one of the heirs. Is that right, Big Bang? 
Big Bang is X white A white fire white air. So I can kill one of the two airs. I can kill X flood A because I don't need that. No. No, that's how I got it. White fire, white fire, white air, big X flood A. So yeah, I can kill X flood A because fucking it's literally perfectly outclassed by Big Bang. Yeah. Choosing skills to fucking... Oh, I did it. I got all the skills I need for Mega Magic. Choosing skills and evolving skills is highly technical. I wish Pokemon had something like that. White fire and white air. Wait, hold on. Is that it? White fire, white air, and... And... Explod A. Is Big Bang. And he's got all the spells for Mega Magic. So he's going to have Mega Magic and Big Bang. Which is pretty cool because those are like fucking some of the best skills in the game. Three level ups in one battle. I actually, oh, I was gonna say, but I like forgot to. I actually like the OST of um, Wild Arms two more than one. I think two had better music. One I really like, but I like I like the I don't know, dude. Two is good. I'm dangerously running low on MP. My MP totals are probably fucking retarded now. Yeah. 899, 560, and 524. This is probably getting to the point where it's my best team ever. I mean, obviously it's my best team... Like, obviously my attempts for this playthrough of the game... That was a really bad level up. Obviously, um... I've never, like, gotten this far. I want both of those. Why are they all getting like zero int? Oh, they capped int. Int caps really low. I forgot about that. 255 is the cap for int. I forgot. I was thinking int was fucking really bad on all of them, but they've all capped it. Holy fuck, 712 attack. I predicted he would get to 712 by fucking... 10 levels from now. I love this song, dude. Oh, I got a message. Probably just another thumb up. No. Oh, this song. I love this song. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that was just such a good game. Hellblast, there it is, dude. Hellblast. Yes. Uh, what causes Hellblast? <laughs> Nothing causes Hellblast, he just learns it naturally. It's Thordane and Lightning, but I don't have Thordane and Lightning. I need this, dude. I can't not have that. I can't not have that. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I really supposed to forget Hellblast? Is that really fucking... Magically infused Wild Western RPG. Yes, actually. Sounds about right. Wizards with six shooters. Yeah, that's... No, that's decently correct. They're not wizards. There are wizards and there are people with six shooters, but they're not like a... Oh, this song is so good. I don't know if it's like audible. Normally I turn my volume way down for my fucking all the shit I'm watching, so my voice is way over it. So I've got Big Bang incoming, and I've got Mega Magic incoming, and the only other spell I could get rid of is Quad Hits. I'm gonna listen to the opening of Wild Arms 2 as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude.
Is that showing on my screen? Yeah. Wild Arms Second Ignition. Wild Arms is like the coolest fucking series. It had some really cool ideas. It also somewhat suffers from being a very generic JRPG though. I mean it's not like super generic, but the battle system isn't like, I don't know, it's very boring. RPGs have become way more unique now. That's a man, that's a male character. God damn. This guy. I love this guy. He walked on a crutch. He was so cool though. I'm so nostalgic for this series. Fuck. I'm really nostalgic for Grandi as well. Grandi 1 and 2. Uh, I got the shivers, like real bad. So the problem still remains. I want quad hits. I think I'm gonna just help last, dude. That hurts, but like Big Bang is better. A wizard with guns that shoots magic bullets could have been the best chair RPG for tag ever. <laughs> Lost opportunities. I'm gonna ditch help last. No, dude, I'm gonna ditch quad. No, I'm gonna ditch Soul Blast. I've never played Grandia 3. I never touched that game. I know it's like a PS2 game. I ditched Hell Blast, dude. Like, literally, if I could see myself ditching Hell Blast, like, like, last time I played this game, I'd be like, Jim, what the fuck are you doing? 35, I'm nearly there. Also, my monsters now have, like, an absurd resistance to magic. I say as one of them dies. You know what series I'm really um, nostalgic for is um, uh, Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire like 3 and 4 are like, like literally like bring tears to my eyes when I like start thinking about them. RPGs are fucking, RPGs are my shit dude. I like barely touch RPGs. Big Bang. There we go. So he has Big Bang, which means I can get rid of some skills now. Um, Big Bang came from the air skills, right? Right? Yeah, so I can get rid of White, white Fire. Because Big Bang outclasses it. Hey, John, you should play the Y series. I've never played them. They're probably really good. Yeah. I've never touched them. I, like, used to play, like, fucking every RPG I could get my hands on, but I haven't played, like, fucking... I haven't played a new RPG in forever. That's a really good idea. Also, I'm getting fucking dangerously low on MP. Everyone's out. I'm so close, though. One more level, I get Mega Magic. There it is. By chance recalls Mega Magic from his memory. Well, Blaze Most is useless. I know I played Star Ocean 1. I played that game a lot. Star Ocean 1 was really good on Super Nintendo. I don't remember if it was ever actually released in the United States or if I had to play like a Japanese, like a, a, a hacked ROM. I think I had to play a hacked ROM. I think that the version that I played, whatever game I played, was fucking never translated. These stats are fucking insane. Zomo in particular is looking really good. Really good. That that attack stat, dude. Fuck. 511 might be max agility, actually. The stats cap at really weird places. 255 is a pretty normal cap. Um. Oh shit, that magic! <laughs> Look at that! Fucking plop, where are you? Look at them. Look at the MP. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Zomo, stop. This is truly the ultimate monster. <laughs> it, be 
begins. <laughs> I can cast 999 Mega Magics. That's 2997 damage on every enemy. <laughs> and uh, metal monsters aren't immune to it. This is a remake on the PSP. That was a remake? I didn't know it was a remake. I thought it was a sequel. Huh. Interesting. God, I remember when it was hard to kill. What the fuck? Is that just like my normal attack? Wait, hold on. How am I killing this thing? Zoma attacks. 206. That thing has 999 defense. And I used a normal attack and it did 206 damage. That thing has cap defense. And I'm still fucking it up. This is retarded. My team is super overpowered. I have no magic and I'm still fucking creaming them. I have no magic and I'm still creaming them. Also, my gains have actually gone up a lot. I'm getting a lot more stats every level up now. I don't know if it's enough yet to where I can start killing um, everyone. I'll start trying to clear some gates. I've got like fucking hella stats. Team Metables. I'm so tempted to just not do the practice essay and just do it on the 12th. I don't want to... I mean, I have to write it anyway, and I might as well write it at a time when fucking I can get a good grade. So I'm just being retarded. But I just don't want to do it this weekend, and I have to do it this weekend. Then again, I don't have a car. It's like God's fucking putting the perfect like situation that I have no excuses except to work on my essay. Fucking 854 attack. Maxed agility, maxed int. Knuckle down gyms. See, that's why I need people to tell me. Sometimes I, like, forget that I can just make myself do something. And then people tell me I, to do it, and then it's just like, oh yeah. Be the responsible adult I am not. I'll do it. But today is my last day off. Maybe I'll just take Saturday off to fucking do my shit, and then if I finish it, which, like, you know. Do what you want, cover it in cheese. That's a good idea, actually. Well, it's like, it's a retarded idea, but it's like, it's a sarcastic good idea, which is just fucking do the amount that I want to do and turn it in. Since it's a fucking practice one. All I have to do is, like, ask him if... I came up with a, a subject today, and I started outlining my paper. And I usually do hella work once I outline papers. I'm literally just punching metables to death. Metables? I'm outspeeding metables and killing him in one hit. With regular attacks. That's retarded. I'm still gonna get my ass kicked if I try and fight the Monster Master, I can already tell. My team is not yet at a level where I can fight the Monster Master. My monsters are like done learning spells. 900 attack. I still don't have anyone with heal us all, which is somewhat annoying. That's like the one thing separating me from like a great team. There's no heal us all. Alright, let's go beat the boss. I literally outsped the metable before it could even run away. I punched its fucking lights out.
everything is out of magic. If I could just get... If I could get a healing guy, that would be so cool. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I was right in line for one. What is wrong with my car? You know how the engine wouldn't start? You know how it was leaking gas? If you don't know that it was leaking gas, you now know that it was leaking gas. I would really like more magic, please. I could just get my magic back the old-fashioned way. Just by running around, be hella slow. Chess literally can't have items that I care about at this stage in the game. And also, they can be mimics. And mimics have. Mimics are no problem for my team, but they do have a somewhat annoying spell that fucking has a chance of causing instant death. And I just don't want to deal with that. How much MP is enough to fucking... Kill this boss. I've got like a lot of... I don't know dude, I'll probably be fine. Let's just try. So it's um it's actually fucking Zoma. It's the guy that I have. That's kinda funny. Uh he's hella tough. And he creamed me. I definitely need to have full MP when I go into this fight. There's no way around it. Um let's try fighting the Metal Master and see what happens. I cast six foot A. No effect on Gold Slime, of course. It only hurts the Rose Vine. Why did I even do that? Divine Gone is affected by Lightning. So here's Big Bang. Does this work on everyone? Divine Gone and Rose Vine. Divine Gone summons Horrific Thunder. Quad hits the strong as fuck. Why am I focusing on the fucking gold slime? Gold slime's like the worst one to focus on. Oh, I killed the gold slime. Holy fuck. Do I lose money from that? No, I don't. So I can just attempt it infinitely. I didn't cast Mega Magic. You can't choose what you cast in arena battles. I punched the uh punched the gold slime to death. I'm finding it very impressive that I can kill the gold slime, which is usually regarded to be the hardest of the three. I I think I need to choose a new plan. If I heal us all it would be so easy. I picked the one character who had fucking There we go. Let's try that. Is this the run? <gasps> this is the run. I've never beaten this boss in my life. This is one of the hardest bosses in any video game I've ever played. Oh my god, this Orochi. I won! I won! I'm the strongest master! I beat the, I beat the super boss of the game. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even do arena anymore because I've cleared out the arena. 
<laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Um, so now it's just breeding. I'm just gonna try and get every monster, I guess. Let's have conversations. My stomach hurts. Let me have a break. Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm faking it, don't you? Okay. Relax, relax. Victory will be ours eventually. They both have the same personality. I have two monsters with the same personality. Lazy, lazy, and carefree. Fuck, dude, I beat the Monster Master. I've never beaten the Monster Master. I've never beaten the Monster Master. Ever. Alright, in order to get Wadabo, I have to beat every dungeon. Which is tedious, but totally doable. Fuck, I'm standing around blue a lot. Hey, Jim, what? I'd never see this environment. When am I going to beat Sephiroth? I don't know if you're referencing a very obscure fact about my time playing Final Fantasy VII. No, you're referencing um, um, Kingdom Hearts 1, aren't you? It's a good question. When am I going to beat Sephiroth? Somewhere. Where am I going? Why is it never a tiny metal? I bet that's fucking something really good. It's only a wake sand. Elf water and world dew can be those items. Laurel, that can be a treasure box is really a mimic. Did I not beat Sephiroth in FF7? It's complicated, dude. It's more complicated than you can know. I've actually never beaten Sephiroth in FF7, even though I've beaten both weapons. Is that stupid or what? I've seen the game's ending. I've been present when the game was beaten. Like, I've, um, I've gotten to end game and like ground like way past the last boss and fucking killed the weapons myself. But in that playthrough, I didn't finish for whatever reason. And the playthrough before that, when I actually got like super super high level and fucking ready to clear shit out. Um, I got to Hojo, I got to the second to final boss of the game, and then, uh, um, I had, like, the fucking PS1 bonus disc that wiped memory cards, and I lost my save file. Um, and I've never actually beaten Sephiroth, even though he's theoretically a much easier boss than, um, um, Hojo. I've never killed him. Or not an easier boss than Hojo, but an easier boss than Emerald Weapon. Isn't that funny? I just fucking defended uh, FF7 for my life, but I've literally never been the hand that killed the boss.